Hi, and welcome to Space Engineers. I'm Tim. This is my Survival Access series, and this is episode one of season two. Per usual, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell if you want more notifications in your life. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching. Well, we are on the moon, and in this episode, what I'd like to do is get started on our moon base. So I'm gonna grab uh, some steel plate because we will need a platform. But I think what I'd like to do is maybe do like a five by five platform. That is probably safe. Sort of around here. So actually let's do this. Let's put that there. So I think this is where about where the platinum is, right? Yeah, more or less. come out here. Well, I want to count this actually. So that's one, 13, 14. Let's go maybe 15. And then 16. So that's 15 between them. So that will be our platform. We're actually going to do a five by five platform. So that is our moon, the start of our moon platform. Let's get this welded up. I don't actually think I have this much steel plate. Let's maybe not weld this up yet. All right, so now if this is five by five, we actually have to have walls as we're in space. So we can do, that will be three by three on the inside here. That's not very big, but it should be, I think it'll be large enough for what I need for now. Cause I always, I could always make it seven by seven. I think we're gonna make it seven by seven. All right, so that's seven by seven. And that will give us a five by five. Wait, is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, so that's only six. Counting is difficult. All right, so now we will have a- Energy low. Oh, that's not good. All right, so now we have a seven by seven platform. And now we've got a lot of room on the inside to put a med bay, like a bed maybe, a cryopod, something. So now I'd like to go ahead and get my med bay as fully withdrawn as possible. I want it to be easily accessible. Maybe I'll just do it here. That's probably a good spot for it. Something like that. All right, so now our med bay is welded up. However, it isn't actually working because we don't have any power here yet. I did bring stuff over to build, I think a reactor. Cannot withdraw 23 computers. That's not a good sign. Oh, okay, cool. That was just the build planner being weird. Oh, hey, look, sunrise. Kind of feeling like the reactor shouldn't be inside the habitat area. That just doesn't seem that safe. Five and six, small reactor. Does it actually matter what part touches? Might not which would be dumb, but convenient. It looks like it doesn't actually matter. Let's go ahead and do it this way. Doesn't really make sense, but uh, I'm not gonna argue with it. And now let's get some uranium to feed it. All right. All right, so now that we've got the reactor going, I wanna actually get some solar panels as well and a battery or two, just so that we're not just burning through uranium. So this is kind of a last resort thing. So actually right now what we're going to do is turn this guy off. All right, so that will be a good framework to begin with. Now we can run over here and get our solar panel parts. I don't have any girders. That is not ideal. I'm gonna have to mine a bit and get that survival kit cranking out some girders. I think we might go for the iron. Head out there looking for the iron. Cause I can start drilling to it and I can gather the stone. And that will work in the survival kit to get a refinery going. All right, getting close. Also some nickel, that's convenient. All right, iron, let's see. Just kind of come in and make like a door. Let's actually go ahead and bring our truck back over towards that door. Go ahead and put that in the truck. All right, we're finally to the iron, so let's get some of this and then load that into the truck and we can head back to the base. 
and put you in the truck. And now we can get out of here. Probably gonna handle like trash because it's super heavy now. Actually, it handles a lot better now. It's super heavy. Alright, and there are connectors on the lander. So what I think I might want to do is try to build some kind of a ramp or something for the truck so it can just drive up to the lander. Um, but that might not actually become that important once I get the some of the base stuff going. So for now I'm just going to load the survival kit the old fashioned way. Well, that sucks. And we're gonna make a bunch of girders. But I don't need 300 of them. Maybe just 100 of them. All right, let's check on our girders now. We've now got quite a few girders going. So I believe we will be able to actually start placing our solar panels. If I can figure out which hot slot they are, what hot bar they are in. Look at that. So now we can start placing our solar panels. They want construction components. Could have placed them before. So this should be a good start for getting some constant power going. The large steel tubes are going to be a problem though because I think I need a... Yeah, I need an assembler for those. Why exactly the solar panel needs uh, a large steel tube, I'll never know. But uh, apparently they do and so until I get some more. I won't be able to actually finish those. So I think these solar panels will just be this one for now. But I might be able to build uh, the battery. We'll go ahead and put it maybe right here on the end. All right, so now we've got a way to store our energy from our solar panel, just in time for the sun to go down. Now that I've got some stone, I'm gonna start laying out the um, the walls for this this base here and I'm going to get the parts made for an assembler and a refinery so while that is building those I'm going to start working on getting some of the walls of the base laid out and feeding it a bunch of stone manually one bunch of stone at a time all right well here is the basic structure that I've got started um, and in the time of trying to get this all set up um, I was able to get the parts needed to come over here and build the uh, the basic refinery and the big assembler. I ended up not starting with a large refinery because I wanted to refine the steel, or the um, iron ore. So we just have the, the regular one for now. But that'll be easy enough to uh, change out in the future or just add to it. So I'm going to get this floor welded up here so we can actually try to get a, an airtight enclosure in here. Just kind of go around and weld this up. And come in here, recharge. I ended up moving the med center because it ended up being where a wall needed to, to go. So if you're wondering if it looks like it moved, it did. And that was simply because it was in the way. All right, that's the first run with the roof. Just kidding, don't have any steel plate. So we'll run back over here and we'll see if I've made more steel plate. Some, not a ton. Uh, we don't have a lot of iron left, though. We should also probably figure out how to put a connector onto it. Alright, so what I was thinking when I placed this is that I think this should be the right height that I can just back it up. I didn't actually check this, but it just kind of looked like it would be right. 
So I'm hoping it's going to be right. All right, now we have a connector. Let's test it. Pretty sure we're going to be fine as long as we actually line up on it. Or we're going to be nowhere near fine. All right, well, that just means I have to drill out a road, which is dumb, but doable. Or actually, do I need to do that? It's too high. I might be able to lower the wheels. Come on. Maybe if I was aimed right. Ah, yes, perfect. Beautiful. All right, so now we can go get iron. Oops, didn't mean to ghostwrite it. Let's go back to our mine. So we'll do that now. We'll head out to get the iron ore. I'm just gonna mine some of this and I'll be back shortly. I totally didn't empty my inventory. Nice. All right, so we've mined through to the little bit of nickel that's next to the iron. So I'm gonna get a little bit more of both the iron and the nickel, and then we'll head back to the base to refine it all and build more steel plate to finish our habitat. One of these days, I'm gonna put a camera on the back of this. But that day will not be today. All right, and I believe the refinery should just pull out the ore. Yep, it is. Let's go ahead and move these parts back into my inventory. Let's go weld on the solar panel array. Not that it'll do a ton of good, as it is nighttime over here now. But we can at least try to get them ready for when the sun does return. All right, there are the last of the solar panels. So now we'll just go back to attempting to finish up this building. So that'd be fun to do like dome habitats, but it's actually very hard to do a real dome in Space Engineers uh, due to the, the blocks that we have. So instead it's gonna be this weird sort of, uh, I have no idea what shape this is, but it's gonna be this thing because I think it'll be scalable and I think it looks cool. It also should be, um, I should be able to pop holes in it and put windows. Uh, I just had to like build the outline of it first, which was actually surprisingly difficult. But I think it came out nicely. It's kind of like a weird, I don't know. It's just like a thing. It's a weird little thing. Let's do one there as well. Um, Cause we're going to want to have like an airlock. So I'm actually gonna need two doors. So now I'm going to want to do there and there and do here and here actually on these I want to use the half doors half blocks I want to do that so it has kind of like a um, like a hallway kind of look to it so we'll do it like this and we'll get these welded. So I gotta do the door here and here. Oh, I guess I want the offset door. Hopefully the offset door doesn't require different materials than the normal door. I think it's the same. Construction components. It's more, st it's more plate. It's steel plate. The offset door is different. 
Why is the offset door different? That's dumb. All right, so we're just gonna put all this stuff into production and come over here and build two offset doors. I want one offset door to be there. And I want the other offset door to be here. And then that's basically more or less what I was what I was going for. Yeah, if I do them like this. That will do that. And then I can get rid of this guy and this guy. Alright, so now we have two doors. So this is now airtight in here. Like I said, we'll want to get some lights in here. Don't have any construction components. Come over here and get some of those. Actually, there might be some in the rocket. Ooh, the rocket is dead. Well, that's not good. Why is the uh, why is the rocket so dead? All of my stuff is super dead. I guess I need more solar panels to recharge things. Production components, nice. Oh no, I can't use the conveyor system because it doesn't have any power. So we'll just turn it on real quick so I can actually use the conveyor system. And now I can go back to sleep. I can find my reactor again. There it is. Probably shouldn't have left the lights on. That's probably why. Where do I want to put these? So there's that thing right there. We don't really don't want to do that. Let's just put one light in here um, for now. And that just might be enough. Let's do seven meter radius. Low intensity. Turn off my light. Get back, turn off. Yeah, that'll work for now. It's a little dingier than I would want. Maybe let's go, uh, let's go 10 and maybe like one for the intensity. All right, that, that's better. That'll work nicely. So now we are going to want to have a, um, H2O2 generator in here. And we're definitely going to want to have it so that the port lines up with that port. I think if I do it this way, that will be the most useful for everyone. And I'll be able to easily pop something through the back there. Because I think this is the center. I think. Oh, maybe not. Shoot. Is this. Alright, so I can do an elbow here, and I can do the. Um, I can do the elbow here, and I can do a conveyor junction right here and that will be how I can seal this up and still uh, get everything plumbed together and I can run the conveyor on the outside so we will do this guy right here get him started and oh wait was this set to have a, a port right there because that actually might not work yeah that actually doesn't work um well then what is this block all right well that is just not ideal at all um 
All right, so what we're going to do is we'll hang it off the side. That's the assembler. We will hang it off the side like, which side looks cooler. And by doing it like that, then I can just do a elbow right here. And that will work. Alright, there we go. So we'll run back over here. And grab our stuff. I don't know what stuff I just got. Let's also grab some of these. Some of those, some of these, some of those, this, that thing. I don't have any more inventory room, do I? Nope. All right, and let's build this guy up. Build that guy. So close. And come around here and build this guy. I suppose I should also cap off up here. And what I'd like to see is, I think maybe this here. I think that'll look good. Yeah, I think I like that. Alternatively, I could do the large blocks and just use the normal tapers to kind of blend it in, but I kind of like the fact that it looks like it's two separate kind of structures that are colliding. I think I like that better. I'm gonna paint it too, because I don't want these white, I don't think. I don't know what color I'll make them yet, but I don't think they'll be white. But now I'd like to put some ice into that. I'm just gonna rob some from the rocket, because that's the only place I have ice right now. At least I think I have ice in here somewhere. Oh no, have I used all my ice? Oh, I've used all my ice. All right, well, I don't have ice in the rocket anymore. That'll be fine. So I'm gonna call this an episode here. We've got the habitat pretty much done and we just need to get some stuff charged so we can go on a ice expedition uh, and get some more iron so we can start building some more conveyor tubes to actually get our, our stuff linked together. So as always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and leave a comment, let me know what you thought, share it with your friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.